I'm now joined alongside Kent State outfielder Jake Casey. Jake, you've had about a week here on the Cape. Have you been enjoying it so far? It's been a blast. Um, all, all the guys are really cool, and it's been really cool just getting to know them and playing with them. It's a very special day. It's Father's Day. Sean Casey, your father. How is how special is it to be able to have a father like that who's been able to kind of show you the ropes? It's really special. I mean, just for the game of baseball, you know, having him as my coach and obviously my dad. But, you know, he's me and him hit like all the time as much as we can whenever I'm home. You know, I call him every day and it's just good to have him by my side. And how about memories growing up in your backyard playing catch? Is there a memory that sticks out to you? Memories, um, I'd say just the years he would bring me and my brother to spring training. Because when he, when, he, when he retired, I was five, and I don't really remember much of when he actually played. So I think just bringing me to spring training brought me down to the Reds, the Blue Jays, and the Indians. Um, just being around those guys, those coaches, those, those big league players, and being in the clubhouse, seeing how they work. I think that was my favorite memory, memories. And he also played in this league with the Brewster Whitecaps. So was there any certain piece of advice that he gave you about playing in this league? Just have fun, you know, that <clears throat> these guys aren't, it's not as crazy as, as it might sound, you know, the cape, but it's just baseball at the end of the day. Um, and that's, that's his biggest advice, just have fun and just go out there and show out. And your brother Andrew also played baseball. He played at Dayton. Yeah. So how was it growing up being able to have almost like a built-in best friend? Yeah, he's my best friend. He's 17 months older than me, he's an, uh, whatever you call it, Irish, Irish brother, Irish twin. Um, no, he's, he's like just been a really cool cool to have him you know as an older brother being able to look up to him and you know when he committed to play division baseball I was like I gotta commit I gotta do it now so it made me work a little bit harder and um, yeah and then outside of baseball what are your passions what does Jake Casey like to do I don't know I just like to hang out um, I'd say just on an off day you know like a day here I'd say just go to the beach hang out with the guys I just like to hang out with my friends hang out with my girlfriend and at Kent State, it's a lot different playing college ball compared to the Cape Cod League. So what are some adjustments that you've had to make? I don't know. I think, you know, just the pitching probably, I'd say the pitching gets a little bit better up here. Um, and I think the adjustments are just uh, to not make too many adjustments, I think, if, that's, if that makes sense. Just to go out there and just play the game of baseball, you know, and just realize that it's a game no matter where you go. And... Coming from Kent State, you had an incredible season. So are there certain takeaways that you're taking from your time there, bringing out to here to Orleans? Yeah, for sure. Being, being able to have my first year under my belt playing every day was big. Um, and then coming here, being able to play, play almost every day and be around baseball as much as I can to get better for next season. And the chemistry within the team seems amazing, even though you've only had around a week here. So how awesome is it to have that great connection? I don't know. The boys here are all really cool, and we're all, we all get along really well. Um, I love these guys. Just a really, really good, close group of guys who love to, love to hit, love to talk hitting, and talk baseball. Awesome. Thank you so much. Good luck today. Thank you.